A restaurant with a long history on the Connecticut shoreline is about to enter a new chapter, and you're invited to be a part of it. Yeah, the dock and dine was devastated by Hurricane Sandy and Irene, and now it's being knocked down. News 8's Tina Detell has that. This shoreline favorite is about to undergo a major change, and folks have a chance to become a permanent part of its history and future. Dave and Jane Marks are the first to sign this wooden plank. Now you're part of history. Thank you. <laughs> the plank is part of the deck which washed up onto the parking lot. Devastating storms forcing Dock and Dine to now completely rebuild after it closes next week. Basically where the ceiling is is where the floor will be for the new building. The new design raises the restaurant 10 feet higher and hopefully above the fray of future storms. I'm glad they're going to redo it. It's a great place. But look at the view. And Irene shut down the old Saybrook restaurant for 360 days. Two months after it reopened, Sandy struck. People would be devastated if it wasn't here anymore. They were devastated when, when, they, when they had to rebuild for two times. This plank documenting the past and now part of the popular restaurant's future. Is this going to be big enough? You have a lot of customers. We have four of them. If you want to take home a piece of history, just come here November 5th. They'll be auctioning off chairs and other furniture, things that aren't going into the new restaurant. It's bittersweet. Our last day is next Wednesday, the 30th, and uh, 10 more days at this elevation. So, and this restaurant's been here since the late 40s. Kodama's family has owned Dock and Dine since 1987. So this whole deck is going to be up and we'll have to come back. Construction on the new building is set to begin as soon as the winter weather breaks with a targeted opening, or reopening, I should say, of June 21st, the first day of summer. In the New London Newsroom at the Day, Tina Detell, News 8.